Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan and in this video I'm going to be talking about how safe Taiwan is. Today I'm currently at this really cool place in Taipei City called Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall. Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall was built in honor of Dr. Sun Yat-sen who was the founder of the Republic of China. Originally, the purpose of the building behind me was built to house and display relics from Dr. Sun Yat-sen's life. However, it is now also used for performances and exhibitions. Construction was started by Chiang Kai-shek in 1965 and it has a very distinct pan Chinese architectural style. There is also a park surrounding the building which is really nice to walk around and it's quite big and it's also a very popular place for many locals in Taipei to come and uh, spend some time and of course there is a little lake and there are some very nice and interesting decorative walls on the premises. As usual I will put a link in the description for your convenience. A little over two years ago from the date of recording this video, I did in fact make a video about how safe I thought Taiwan is. By updating the video, I'm hoping to give you a clearer and more accurate idea of how safe Taiwan really is. In order to give you a balanced view of how safe Taiwan is, I'm going to be talking about certain things and aspects of living here which are very safe and make life very safe, but I'm also going to be talking about a few things which could be considered hazardous towards your health and a little bit dangerous, which are very specifically related to living in Taiwan. Firstly, let's take a look at cybersecurity. Cybersecurity can be an issue in Taiwan depending where you connect to the internet and what kind of network you're connecting over. My suggestion would be that if you're in a public place like a train station, an airport, or maybe a 7-Eleven or a hotel that offers free Wi-Fi, do not conduct any sensitive or very serious or important business over those networks because they might be easily hackable and someone could access your data. So for example, don't talk about business, don't do banking or anything to that effect over those unsecured networks. Pickpocketing in Taiwan is rare but it's not entirely unheard of. So if you go to very crowded places such as night markets and those sort of places, I would recommend that you just be extra vigilant and make sure that your money is in a secure location, like it's tightly in your pocket or in one of those like little travel belts or whatever. Now, I've been living here for well over 10 years and I've never had anything stolen and I've never been pickpocketed in Taiwan. Unfortunately, due to Taiwan's geographic location, it is more prone to certain types of natural disasters, such as typhoons and earthquakes. Unfortunately, there's not very much you can do to prevent typhoons and earthquakes. However, there are some steps that you can take in order to minimize the risk of you getting hurt when a typhoon or an earthquake hits. Regarding typhoons, I would highly recommend that you stay indoors, you fasten and shut all your windows and doors very tightly, and do not go outside during a typhoon. It is definitely not an advisable thing to do. If you do decide to go outside during a typhoon, you could get seriously injured. The typhoons here are no joke. The wind speeds become incredibly high and they cause a lot of destruction. Regarding earthquakes, I think one of the best things that the Taiwanese government has done is that they've used special engineering techniques, special building techniques and special materials which help to reinforce the buildings which helps them to withstand earthquakes more effectively and minimizes the chances of them toppling over. Another dangerous thing about living in Taiwan is the traffic. First of all, it depends on which area you're driving in. If you're driving around uh, Taipei 101, for example, things are much more well controlled there and the rules are more heavily enforced and things are pretty good in regards to traffic. However, in other certain areas further out of the CBDs of some of the cities in Taiwan, things can get a little bit hectic and a little bit wild, especially when you consider the high amount of scooters that are on the road. When driving, I would highly recommend that you be extra vigilant, extra careful, and just kind of have eyes on the back of your head and almost pretend like people don't know how to drive. Just expect people 
to do something silly like just cut in front of you without using their indicator or going through a red light or that sort of thing. Now that we have a few of the dangerous aspects of living in Taiwan out of the way, I would like to talk about a few aspects of living in Taiwan which actually make it an incredibly safe place to live. According to Numbio.com, Taipei was voted as the third safest city in the world out of 378 cities in 2017. Furthermore, violent crime rates in Taiwan are considered to be relatively low by global standards and are considered to be some of the lowest in the world. Violent crime against foreigners is very rare but not entirely unheard of. Home theft also happens on rare occasions but it usually happens in buildings without 24-hour security and surveillance. One of the cool things about Taiwan is that theft is not a big thing here and over the years I personally have lost personal items which have been returned to me. I've heard of so many great stories of foreigners and tourists and locals locals here who have lost personal items and have had those personal items returned to them usually within 24 hours to 48 hours and I think that this is absolutely fantastic because often in some other countries if, if you leave your wallet at a restaurant or you leave your phone in the park there's a very high chance that it's going to be taken. I'm not saying that that won't happen in Taiwan I'm just saying that the chances of that happening in Taiwan are much, much lower. Next, let's talk about gun control. Now, depending on whether or not you think prohibiting and minimizing access to firearms actually reduces gun-related crime or violence, then I would say that the gun laws in Taiwan definitely contribute to the low levels of gun-related crime and violence in Taiwan. Because in Taiwan, it is strictly prohibited for the average citizen to carry or own a firearm of any type. Now it's not impossible for a citizen of Taiwan to own a firearm. There are rare instances uh, of people who meet certain criteria who are allowed to own firearms but even when they own the firearms there are very strict laws surrounding that. They have to keep it in a certain location, they can only use it at a certain time of year in a certain location and that sort of thing. Only law enforcement and military personnel are allowed to carry or own firearms in Taiwan. And I think that the firearm laws in Taiwan definitely minimize and reduce the levels and amounts of gun-related violence and crime. Next, let's take a look at CCTV cameras and coverage in Taiwan. As it so happens, there is extensive CCTV coverage in Taiwan. Currently, there are about 30,000 cameras in Taipei and about 25,000 cameras in Gaoshang. This means that the authorities can record and monitor a lot of what happens outside of the home in Taiwan. I currently think that having so many CCTV cameras in Taiwan definitely does play a role in deterring criminals and criminal activity in the public areas. Next, let's talk about the death penalty and capital punishments in Taiwan. Capital punishment hasn't yet been abolished in Taiwan and it is still used on rare occasions. I know that many people will disagree and say that the death penalty or capital punishment is not really an effective deterrent and it doesn't actually deter anyone from committing violent and terrible crimes and I partially agree to an extent. However, let me elaborate a little bit. Now, in specific cases, yes, I would agree that it is not a significant deterrent but in other cases, I would disagree and I think that it can be successfully used to deter certain people from committing certain types of crimes. Next, let's talk about the police force in Taiwan. The police force in Taiwan is absolutely fantastic. They do a wonderful job and they all have a very high success rate in capturing criminals in Taiwan. In fact, I would like to use this opportunity to personally thank all the policemen and all the policewomen in Taiwan for all their hard work in keeping all of us so safe here in Taiwan. You're all really awesome and I personally really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Keep up the good work. Next, let's talk about terrorism in Taiwan. Overall, there is a very low risk from terrorism in Taiwan. Now, that's not to say that there haven't been any terrorist attacks in the past and it has happened in the past on very rare occasions. What is my overall conclusion? My overall conclusion is that Taiwan is indeed one of the safest places in the world and there is a very minimal risk of crime and violent crime happening to you when you come to Taiwan. Furthermore, living in such a safe and harmonious society such as Taiwan is one of the major attractions for me and many other foreigners who come to Taiwan. Okay everybody, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to know more about Taiwan, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. I'll put the links to those pages in the video description. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.